Hi, and welcome to Observing Cloud Native Observables with the new SIG Observability, which already tells you that observability is kind of a buzzword, but there is some value to it. I'm Richard. I'm Bartek. And we are going to tell you what this is all about. SIG is a special interest group, and observability at a very fundamental level is about making complex systems grokkable for humans. And that's basically what we're working on. So if we look at our charter, it's very much around fostering, reviewing, and growing the ecosystem of and around observability, identifying and reporting gaps within the CNCS project portfolio, find, establish, write down patterns and best current practices. And the current is important because things change over time. Educate and inform users about all of these without any bias, which obviously means no vendor lock-in, a truly vendor neutral venue for all thought validation and such. And as a little bit of a test balloon, um, we are doing more in, in due diligence reports than other six, where we actually walk through the whole due diligence process to take some load off of TOC. And one thing which we really, really, really try and do is have a bias for action, because usually um, any, any new endeavor um, is always nice and cool and shiny and everyone wants to join. And we're trying very, very hard to, to actually push for actual bias, uh, for actual action and for actual outcomes. Looking at our past ac activities, we obviously uh, chartered ourselves and self-created with the blessing of the TOC. Um, and we did already two incubation reviews and due diligence uh, reports for Cortex and Thanos, both of which passed and are now in uh, in incubating stage. We started gathering requirements about online learning, uh, online analytics platforms and analytics, and we already explored some overlap with AI and ML. Of course, especially in metrics land, this is like perfect signal for for machines to understand and grok and also integrate with other projects for some knowledge transfer. Amazing. And as you might be already aware, our observability landscape in the CNCF space is already quite, quite rich. Um, in, we have kind of different levels of, um, of project um, stage within the CNCF. And uh, in graduated, we have you know FluentD, which is uh, related to logging, Jager, which is a tracing system, Prometheus, uh, which is a first system that uh, that kind of get into the CNCF from the observability space uh, around uh, metric uh, monitoring, and uh, then we have you know incubated stage where we have Cortex and Thanos, uh, which are you know metric um, kind of metric systems scaling Prometheus, and those are kind of bolded here because those are where Kind of moved where um, well thanks to the seek observability kind of movement and we are looking to help you know other projects to graduate as well and join our space we have open tracing which uh, now kind of merged into open telemetry but still is incubated project around tracing and then in sandbox we have you know chaos mesh and litmus for, for uh, related to chaos engineering and uh, yeah, please join our you know meetings to learn more about them. We'll kind of share knowledge as well. Uh, we have Open Metrics, um, which is um, essentially metric format and kind of exposition, uh, well established format uh, and protocol um, around around all all applications. And Open Telemetry at the end, which which has amazing progress, as you could see if you're following the Twitter or, or actions, um, in, you know, kind of collaborating with many many vendors uh, and and allowing them to kind of um, integrating well within single simple kind of application you can you can put on your on your infrastructure is kind of amazing. Um, so you know, the the observability kind of uh, space here is is very. Um, reach already you can you can do a lot just using those projects but you know that's that's not everything right there are, we are definitely not done yet with this landscape and uh, there might be some observability areas that you know are missing uh, from this landscape or maybe we can integrate better with right so if you look at, at the integrations or at, at the overlap there is obvious overlap between the three golden signals, metrics, logs, and traces in exactly this order. Uh, basically, Pareto uh, principle, that ju that's just the ordering of the most bang for your buck 
um, versus Swift is the effort you need to put in. So it usually makes sense to start with metrics, then go to logging, then go to tracing. That's just kind of the natural evolution. And if I do say so myself, um, one thing helped really connect the dots a bit, um, where open metrics took the label-based uh, metrics exposition format of Prometheus. And already back in 2015, the, the intention was to also have logs and events with the same label-based access mechanisms, which with Profana Loki we have, which is super nice. And as was announced, uh, uh, we are recording this on a Tuesday. So yesterday of my time, I don't know by heart when, when this is actually showing. Um, tracing based on exemplars. What that means is basically you only have an ID for your traces and nothing else. So you come into your traces from metrics and logs, which are relevant to you. Of course, they have like high latency or there was an error or what have you. And those obviously carry label sets with rich data, which enables you to actually go to what is interesting to you. And then you just jump into the trace with the help of an idea and you don't need to have that usual needle and haystack problem of, of tracing. And personally, I think that exemplars are the future for traces like absolutely 100%. And this is why even back in 2016, OpenMetrics already had support for traces, which permeated through the Prometheus Cortex Thanos and also Loki um, ecosystem. And with Grafana Tempo, we now have something which actually stores traces based on, on exemplars. But there's more. We have continuous profiling, where you have an obvious overlap between metrics and tracing which kind of goes in this direction, but where does it sit precisely? Should we have a new project which, which can actually store those or can we make either of, of the other fields of or groups of solutions work for here? Then there's another thing which I think is too often overlooked, crash dumps. You can argue that there is somewhere sitting in between tracing and logging, but having informed state about, hey, something actually aborted abnormally, and this is what, what its dying gasp was, I think will be useful in the future to actually figure out why something specifically hit the wall. But this is just us thinking about those things. Um, there are certainly other signals, and we would love to hear about your thoughts around what else might be missing here. Because that's that's literally what ASIG is about. It is a special interest group, and we highly, highly, highly recommend and invite anyone to come to us and actually talk about what you want to see in the space. Yes, and there are actually you know uh, much more we are doing right now, which is on our plate. Um, so let's let's do quickly go through that. Um, we started you know our proper meetings. Let's say couple months ago really so so pretty uh, pretty early um, however we already started kind of a uh, few directions uh, here and there and it's really about you know building this community around observability to make sure you know everyone um, can contribute in their area of um, expertise so you know by allocating those kind of small working groups and let's say um, some groups that are focusing on one area, we can um, we can just scale and do much more better together. So um, examples of things we are doing right now, we are definitely looking forward to just start, you know, seek observability strong and to learn more about projects and each other. That's why we are planning to have um, some introduction webinars. We already have some introduction thing, um, um, Thanks to Steve from about Open Telemetry, we are planning to, um, I think, host Litmus project as the first first one, um, which will introduce themselves. So uh, we can learn about you know their problems, each problem, each project's problems. Maybe we can have uh, you know kind of um, collaboration there in, in terms of um, you know integrations and the kind of user experience of 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 really any concept of maintaining open source project even uh, that is related to observability. So that's our plan here. Um, and uh, other aspect is you know this lacking of well integration between uh, a good integration between, let's say, infra infrastructure engineers and big data analytic analytic engineers um, there is you know not much you know conversion formats and uh, api integration towards this 
connection. So um, as the first thing, we started to yeah look on how to get metrics from, uh, from like how to get metrics from from the projects we support, like Prometheus, Thanos, Cortex, and get in, or, or like Open Telemetry and get into um, Parquet file, Apache Arrow, you know many many projects from apache foundation for example how to integrate that so yeah we started some poc some cool coding but also some uh, user requirements so depending on your background you can help in many many areas uh, next one which is kind of um, starting right now we recently had this observability radar which was amazing because we you know, suddenly have more data to understand what is the interest uh, regarding the projects and the problem space. However, obviously, you cannot, you know, um, easily ask people. Um, you might have, you know, some biased information based on your connections, and that, that's normal. So we are kind of uh, starting some effort into making, you know, maybe uh, improving this, this kind of um, surveys and making them, you know, easier and, and actually make companies motivated to actually take part in those surveys to actually have meaningful data that everyone is um is trusting right so um there is some work on that side um and f last but not the least is introduction to observability right like uh, there are lots of questions there are people coming to our meeting and saying okay i don't know where to start i just uh, you know want to improve observability in my company how do i start and there is no good like you know starting um starting docs or i don't know some index that will route you to the particular projects or um materials that explain you um you know certain certain problems like for example how do i gather metrics when do i switch to logs uh do i need tracing what is distributed tracing what is profiling and all of those stuff maybe for some people it's obvious but um sometimes some direction initial direction is very needed so we are looking um forward into into creating some ways of um, having some maybe um, a good introduction page that will route to at least, um, you know, CNCF landscape projects. Um, I think it's a good opportunity to also collaborate with other six um, to to learn how they share knowledge uh, in and, and have some method in doing that. So if you want to help in this direction, uh, maybe help us writing some some better documentation. Uh, maybe you know uh, actually write better documentation on each of the projects and and kind of root and link them together in one place. That would be super amazing. And we are looking for your ideas and feedback. And last but not the least, yeah, we want to um, help projects to um, graduate to, to to further stages. We want to make sure they are um, well supported, well maintained. So. Um, we are looking into, you know, uh, proposals of, of getting uh, projects higher. One particular ideas or like proposals we will be working right now is open metrics. Uh, we are moving, I mean, open metrics is moving quite fast and we are considering, you know, uh, yeah, maybe um, have some review in terms of uh, incubation graduation. So um, all sorts of kind of actions like that is in our scope. Uh, next. I'm Bartek. I'm kind of, you know, a tech lead here. Uh, we have Richie here, who is SIG chair. We have also Matt Young, who is another SIG chair. And this is kind of a you know, starting point. But we have also, I mean, a huge amount of amazing people who contributed already to our SIG observability. They were on our meetings. They help us with the uh, review and preparation of the charter docs. <clears throat> and uh, they are part of, you know, all those smaller working groups and direction we are we are creating so um yeah and so many of those and 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 it's super nice that you know we can kind of build the community with those amazing people and and um anytime you need help they are super happy to just you know um, use their time in order to uh enrich this observability you know open source um it's super amazing and thank you um everyone and uh yeah, uh, you will meet all those people. All, all, all of them are friendly and amazing. So uh, please join us just to meet people, really. That's that's one first um, argument you can have. And yeah, uh, so action action item for you. How you can help, how, uh, how you can join us if you want. Well, first of all, we have B-weekly meetings. Um, you have a Google Doc here. We'll share slides so you can uh, click on it. And um, we focus on those meetings to be, you know, mostly introductionary, maybe some uh, presentations, maybe some status update, but we've meant for those meetings, uh, um, 
well for the actual work to be to be done outside the meetings we are too 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 large group already to actually you know do everything in one hour so um please be prepared for that but obviously please put stuff on agenda and and add you know any topic that you that you want there uh we have our repository go there there are like basic informations there um put an issue on the repository if you if you want to uh have some asynchronous method of of doing some requests for us uh, we have CC Slack, we have mailing list, and yeah, you can help with all of those stuff. Maybe you have some feedback. Maybe you want to have, uh, maybe you need some help as a project of on op uh, observability project, or maybe observability project maybe outside of CC and CF even. You don't want know how to start, how to integrate. Maybe you have ideas, we want them. Maybe you have just free time and you don't know what to do with that. We, we will definitely have some ideas how to allocate this. So uh, please, please join. Next. So that's it. Um, thank you for, for listening. Um, now is really time for any live questions you have to ask. Our talk was a bit shorter just for this purpose. Uh, if you want to take this opportunity and ask questions related to SIG, observability, and just learn more, we're happy to take questions. Yep. Looking forward to the questions. Thank you very much.